welcome back to Opus, the day we found Earth and things have been getting a little bit crazy over in MF's little spaceship thing. <laughs> All the power's gone off and um, MF is about to go into hibernation and we're just on like this mad dash to find planet Earth because Emmeth of course wants to fulfill his promise so it could end in a really sad way but we will see I hope it doesn't end that way like everything shuts down that would be really sad but we will see um I gotta locate earth between Lily and Rudar or something I have no idea because like the the telescope's like broken so I honestly don't know how I'm gonna find this to be quite honest I don't even know where this Lily place is to be quite honest with you so this could be challenging I don't know and I have to maybe go to the Hetmus galaxy. Maybe that would help. Dark section E. Is that where I had to go? Oh no, dark section I. Damn it. <laughs> close, but not quite close enough, it seems. Oh, here. I think it's here somewhere, right? Uh, the I dark section. Yes, I think I found it just kind of like by luck, actually. Okay, let's put the filter on because I think we need the filter to find this thing I believe but like we'll see I guess oh gosh I'm not seeing anything around here I'm sure it's around here somewhere the flickering is really annoying hmm how to go about doing this I'm not sure let's see locate earth in the eye dark section use the filter it does say to use the filter but I don't see anything here even with the filter on so maybe I should just like search random planets and just see if I come up with something and hope that it works <laughs> we will see oh 88% that's very high if I found it oh wow I'm really lucky with this it always seems to work though lots of debris orbiting this planet has the potential to sustain life it doesn't look like earth though but maybe it would work I don't really know it's going to be called waves because I can't think of much right now so there we go let's see how that does I don't think we have very many planets left to find now Emma is going to be like really freaking out at this point I reckon he's going to be on a mad rush to do this why isn't this earth either I don't know man warning OP1414 power is below 20% initializing emergency hibernation MF is shutting down if Opus turns off power MF will never find earth the locator module should still be working. Okay, is he like, um, still, he's still going for it. Even though his shutdown is intimate, he's still going crazy, looking for this Earth thing. How many more, like, opportunities have we got? We've got two opportunities to find Earth now. I'm really hoping we at least find it at the end of the game, because that would just be really bad if it wasn't. MF must hurry. Yes, you must hurry. All right, let's find out where this next one is. Let's do this. I'm feeling really nervous right now. <laughs> okay, unknown section. Oh, God. Locate Earth near Leo. Leo is located in the unknown section from E section. Oh, boy. They don't make this easy, do they? E section. So maybe the best thing would be to find E, the dark E section. And then maybe from there, I would be able to find something. Possibly. I don't know where E section is, but it's around this general area somewhere. I just have got to like look around a little bit, see if I can find it. Hopefully it won't take too long. Ah, here's the E dark section. So from here, it's 90 from the dark section. Okay, so it's really not very far away from here. We got to find Leo, which I've never seen before, you know. There's Leo. I found Leo. Okay, so from Leo, locate Earth near Leo. So we must be right near it. I just gotta find the planet. Um, okay, I'll use the filter. It could be this one. I mean, this is kind of a big looking little thing, so it could work. A big little thing, I just said. That made no sense. <laughs> I know what I mean. That's, that's just the way I talk sometimes. <laughs> the atmosphere on this planet is very suitable for living. Okay, looks very cool. All right, let's see. We're going to call it first word that popped into my head was frog so it's going to be called frog planet frog <laughs> maybe there's lots of frogs there i don't know <laughs> i have no idea it has life so it's possible and water so you never know 
They could have giant frogs over there. Completing forced shutdown procedure. Come on, we've got one more planet to go. Gyrometer offline. Phase shifter offline. Photon scanner offline. Oh god, OP1414 insufficient power. All data backup complete. Entering emergency hibernation. Counting down. Three, two, MF must find one. Sorry, Lisa, doctor. Oh no, he's gone into hibernation. That sucks. Oh man, he really didn't want to go into hibernation like that. But what about the final planet? There's still one more to go. There's still one more on my list. So that must mean this game must continue somehow. I don't know how, but somehow it must do. <laughs> OP1414MF archiving data. All archive will complete with backing up his data. Is there a way we can come back from this somehow? Oh, what's going on here? Is that Doctor? Oh, it's memories of MF and Doctor together. Bless them. Bless their little cotton socks. <laughs> what are they looking at? I have no idea. That looks kind of kind of okay. It looks kind of like the sun or something, but I'm not sure. Hey, MF. Do you know the name of that star? Oh, this is sad. Earth 1833, the 1833rd star found during this mission. That's a lot. <laughs> well, from now on, it will be called Lisa. Why does it have Doctor's name? Because Doctor discovered it first. Anyway, it's Lisa from now on. Emeth understands there are two Doctors. One is a star and one is Doctor. Nah, uh we're the same. Emif doesn't understand. Humans are very short-lived machines, Emif. You may not understand, but one day Lisa will shut down. Lisa will shut down? Well, Lisa the human will shut down, but my systems will be transferred to the other Lisa. Does that make sense? Emif understands a system transfer, just like when I connect to Opus, right? Yep, so remember. If that day comes, as long as you remember Lisa's coordinates, I will always be with you, no matter where you are. Oh, that's so cute. Really? So Doctor will find Earth with Emmeth? Yep, I will always be with you. Ah, but you tore that apart, Emmeth, you silly robot. <laughs> like, we got shut down and everything. Maybe there's a way for Lisa to come back at some point, though. I don't know. It's kind of like really freaky to know that. Lisa will be like forever alive on that spaceship. That's kind of like spooky. Oh god, what's going on? Warning, extreme temperatures, initializing emergency escape procedure, current trajectory impact, inevitable. Oh my god, are we going into the sun? Oh gosh, um, well, Lisa came back somehow. I don't quite know how she managed that, but she's back. Oh gosh, this is ending really bad. Power capacity at 120%. Activating telescope. Activating assistive AI. Maybe the heat has given them power or something. I don't know. What are you doing, Tin Man? Get up. Oh, God. Well, at least they're back awake and everything. But um, kind of a bad, bad time to wake up. <laughs> Ever bot reboot complete. Doctor, are your circuits fried? It's me, Lisa. Assistive AI. Doctor... It's Lisa. The ship rebooted everything because of the extreme temperature. Ah, I thought so. So MF was activated. Anyway, the ship is diving into Lisa because of its gravity. We'll be fried if we don't do something. Okay, then what do we do? Haha, <laughs> don't you worry. Thanks to the extreme heat, we are now loaded with power. Okay, so, so I can get us out of here. The engines are all ready to go. No, Emeth hasn't found Earth yet. I can't follow your orders this time. My purpose is to help Emeth, and this means keeping your system safe. Don't worry, Lisa, because we're going to find Earth soon. Why? Because I have Lisa. What? Uh, do you mean the planet? <laughs> Is that what you mean? I don't know. Adding data to Earth, Earth locator. Oh my god, we're just literally just gonna sit here whilst we're like going into the sun just to like find the, the planet. Oh my gosh, we've got intense music going on. It's the last planet, guys. Can you believe it? Maybe we'll finally find Earth this time. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. Is the last planet here? There it is. Oh my god, it's the 9999th planet that we've searched. <laughs> That's a lot of planets. Locate Earth near the black hole? It's near a black hole? No wonder we couldn't find it. 
my god. Okay, well, I've actually seen that black hole before and I was wondering what on earth it was. So I kind of know where that was, but I'm not sure entirely if I'll be able to find it again now. I kind of just came across it randomly as I was like looking around. So I have no idea if I'll be able to find it again. I hope so, but we will see. I'll try to find it. Where are you, black hole? Where are you at? You know, it actually doesn't give you any data on like where to go at all you kind of just have to look around and find it which i guess is fitting for the last one because it has been getting like a little harder at times so i suppose that makes sense you know it looks like this might be the last episode on this game the way this is going which is kind of sad i really like opus i think opus is great for storytelling it's got a great story oh, okay i'm gonna use this because I'm taking too long, so I'm going to analyse where it is. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it will tell me where to go now, because I was kind of lost for a minute. Okay, uh, where to go from here? It gave me like a clue, but I don't actually know where it is from here. <laughs> Maybe I should just keep going up in this direction. I have no idea. It seems like it has a cooldown, which I did not realise before, actually. It only stays up for a, a certain amount of time. Hmm, I think I kind of messed this up a little bit. I don't really know where this is. It's got to be up here somewhere, but I'm just not sure where. I might have to wait for the cooldown to finish now, so I have no idea where this thing is. I don't remember it having such a cooldown before. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's the last mission? I don't know, but this is a nightmare. Oh, okay, here we go. I found it. We're closing in on the target. Oh my god, this has got to be it. Is this why we couldn't find find it? Because it was like going into a black hole? All right, let's see. It was because I didn't have my filter open either. So you can't see the black hole without the filter open. So that probably was not helping. Oh my god, have we found it? It looks like Earth. 96 similarity, so it might be. The planet contains water and minerals and the atmosphere on this planet is perfect. Oh my gosh, is this Earth? I'm going to call it Earth. I'm hoping it's Earth, but we will see. <laughs> let's con confirm. All right, let's see. Have I found it at last? Oh my gosh, I think we might have. Let's see what they say. Hopefully they'll confirm that it's Earth. Ship overheating, please evacuate immediately. 96%. MF is so close. Just wait a little longer, Lisa. Is that not right then? Hurry up, MF, or we'll be vaporized. Okay, thank you, Lisa, for helping me. Well, that is my purpose, don't you know? An AI without a purpose is nothing more than a calculator. What's wrong, MF? You're right, Lisa. Huh? <laughs> Strange. All right, so I guess that was an Earth at the end. I really thought that was it. I got excited. I was like, yeah, we found it, but no. <laughs> All right, so does that mean another one's going to appear? There's no more on the thing, though. Hmm. Strange. Must be a secret bonus one. Ship overheating, please evacuate immediately. MF, we're running out of time. Oh gosh, we need to find this real quick. Okay, let's see. Earth 10,000. The 10,000th planet. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so it's in the Lisa section. A faint light is located behind the sun, Lisa. Okay, so I've got to find the sun, wherever it is. I don't even know where it's gone. I don't think it's going to be too hard to find. Like, the thing's massive, so <laughs> surely we'll find the, the sun pretty fast, but I don't really know. Follow the, the heat, I suppose, would be the, the best course of action, I guess. Finding these planets can be a pain in the butt sometimes. Okay, here we go. There's the sun, so it's behind it. Hold on, we're getting close. We could be close. So the earth was behind the sun. Is that why we couldn't find it this whole time? <laughs> I have no idea. We'll soon find out. 99% chance. There's still a 1% chance that it might not be the earth. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's see. Have I found it? What is going on? I don't know. Oh, he looks kind of sad. Does that mean it's not earth? I don't know. Have we found it? Come on, it's gotta be. 99.8% There's only a 0.02% chance that is not Earth. <laughs> That's quite likely. Yeah, she's crying. Woohoo! I think we found it. Oh, they're all crying and everything. Who knew that MF could actually cry? And an AI, I guess. <laughs> I'm surprised they even can cry. Planet Earth located. Yes, sweet. You found it. Target locked on. Setting coordinates, calculating distance. Unbelievable. Found it. MF found it, doctor. Estimated distance. All right, calibrating. MF found it, doctor. All this time, it was right behind Lisa. Are we leaving Lisa? 
Sir? Yeah. Aren't you ready? I am. It's just that... Are we going to have enough power to make it? Like, is the power from the sun going to be able to boost stuff enough to actually get to Earth, I wonder? He looks so cute right now. <laughs> you look so adorable, ever. He's going to shut down now, isn't he? He's like, mission accomplished. Time to shut down, I guess. Oh god, what's going to happen? It's going to be a sad ending, isn't it? I just get that feeling. It's going to be one of those really sad ones. Please don't be sad. Let's see what's happening. Lisa is so pretty. Ah, he's such a sweetie. Who, me? The star. Oh, of course. <laughs> Derp, I thought he meant her too. Destination Earth, preparing for hyperspeed travel in 60 seconds. Lisa, will I be able to see Doctor on Earth? Even though she isn't on the ship, I'm sure she's somewhere. 30 seconds. No, I mean Lisa. Me? Don't be silly. Of course I'll be with you. I mean Lisa the star. MF, we're dangerously close to melting, even at this distance. I'm sure Lisa will shine brightly even a million light years away. 20 seconds. Hmm. MF, are they going to die in like 10 seconds? So if I look up, MF will always see Lisa. 5 seconds. I don't know which one you're referring to, but of course. Are we going to go like into it or something? I don't know. 1 second. Oh gosh. I don't know what's going to quite happen here. <laughs> I have no idea. I bet it's going to end with us just like flying into the sun or something st silly like that. <laughs> but I don't know. Oh boy, what's happening? Oh, we just disappeared. Okay. <laughs> I what does this mean? <laughs> I have so many questions. Did we make it? Please don't be one of those open-ended endings. Oh man, it's not even going to tell us what happened. I hate those endings so much. They're like so infuriating. <laughs> so did we find it? Like, did we get to it? I have questions still. I still don't know. God damn it. Maybe there'll be something after the credits. We'll see. That was a cute game. I did enjoy it. Although a bit more gameplay would have been really cool because like, of course, all we were doing was searching for planets. I guess that would be the only fault I would say was with it. It's a bit simplistic, but you know, I think that's just how this is. Okay, let's see. We've analyzed 26 planet. I got completion level 62. What do you want me to do? Analyze like every single planet? Jeez. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. All right. Well, let's see if there's anything after this. Nope, that was it. Oh, I wanted more stuff. They got a behind the scenes thing going on here, but I'm guessing it's just gonna like show like how they made the game and all that kind of stuff. But that is it for Opus, the day we found Earth, just in time for Yoshi as well. So I think it releases in a couple of days. So yeah, I'm very happy with how that wrapped up and everything. I hope you enjoyed this little indie game. I thought it was pretty fun. It was a nice thing to just, um just chill and relax too it was it was nice but i hope you enjoyed this playthrough thank you for watching if you like what you see on the channel please consider supporting me on patreon please comment rate and subscribe and i hope i'll see you next time